welcome back. So for so many families here across San Diego and the country, many parents are concerned for their students, their children uh, dealing with learning loss. You know, conversations have been happening about repeating a grade perhaps in summer school. Uh, you know, these talks are going on everywhere. And this morning we have a guest here joining us, co-founder, executive director of Upchieve, Ali Murray joining us. Good morning, Ali. Hi, how are you doing, Neda? I'm good, thank you. It's good to have you on because what Upchieve offers would be free help for students who are struggling with any class. Uh, let's talk about that. What have students been going through that you've seen? Uh, why is this so important for them to be able to access now? Yeah, absolutely. So I think that, you know, we work very closely with thousands of students, thousands of students use our platform to get free tutoring. And what we've been hearing from students is that even the students that self-describe as good students are actually finding it harder to learn during COVID-19. This is definitely in part due to getting less time with their teachers, even students that are back in class for a few hours a day now um, are still finding it harder to get that personalized attention oftentimes. And, and when they are doing the classes online, a lot of students find it more awkward to ask questions in class. Um, so what we're really seeing as a result is that in, in, almost, in almost every school district across the country, students are farther behind than they would be otherwise if not for COVID-19. This is especially true um, in math, reading, and science. And essentially what we're seeing is educators themselves are, are reporting that, you know, the majority, the actually almost 100% of educators, so 97% of educators are rec reporting that they're witnessing at least some learning loss. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about learning loss, Help us understand what that means. I mean, kids are, you know, seem to be frustrated when they're on those Zoom classrooms, but a lot of them are back in the classroom now. How do you know that a student is dealing with learning loss? I mean, is it as clear as the grades are lower or what else could we look for? Yeah, that's a great question. So essentially learning loss is any reversal in academic progress or any loss of knowledge or skills. And so typically it's caused by gaps um, or discontinuities in, in a student's education. The interesting thing about learning loss is it's getting a lot of attention right now, but it's actually something that has been happening for a while every single summer. So the majority of students, when they go on summer break, they are actually going to forget some of the things they learned in that past school year. And that's part of the reason that in a typical school year, teachers often do spend some time at the start of the year catching students up. But during COVID in particular, there's been even more significant learning loss over the past summer. And, and because teachers are uh, sometimes teaching at a slower pace, having to spend a lot of time kind of reviewing material from the past year, um, essentially what teachers are witnessing is that their students are way behind where they expected them to be at this point in the year and this, in this class that they're in. And this has actually been even more significant for, for low-income students and students of color. Right. Um, and so, yes, grades are one of the ways that it's identified, but also for educators themselves, they know what level of material they're teaching yeah. and where they're, um, from the assessment they give in class, where their students should be at, and students are not. Um, the majority of students are not hitting the point. Right. Now, Ali, I do want to mention, because Upchieve is a nonprofit, you offer free tutoring. Uh, what age range is this for, and how are you even able to offer this? Yeah, absolutely. So we, we are a nonprofit that provides free online tutoring and also college counseling to high school students whose families cannot afford a private tutor or admissions consultant. Um, we actually, so students can sign up for us on their own. We don't actually require parents to be involved, but parents can be involved and, and um, we're happy to talk to parents and talk about our services. But essentially most public high school students in the United States are eligible for our free services. And it actually only takes a few minutes to check your eligibility. And if you're eligible, start speaking with a live tutor at upchoose.org. Okay. Okay, so high school students, if you are listening, perhaps they're getting ready for school right now. This is available, and it's interesting, 24-7, uh, they can sign up and talk to someone immediately to get the help they need. Allie, thank you very much for being on this morning. Absolutely. Glad to be here and looking forward to hopefully helping a lot of students get caught up um, during the remainder of the school year and over the summer. And over the summer as well. A lot of kids will uh, probably need that help. Thank you very much.